Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover Vertex protocol. This is an all in 1DX and it's running in Arbitrum. And there's a possible free airdrop for this project. Like always, we are going to cover a little bit about what Vertex protocol is and the step by step on everything that you need to do in order to get this possible airdrop. Remember that if you want to do a next step in this airdrop hunter path, you can go here and subscribe to my Discord channel where we are creating a big community of airdrop hunters. And also you can register to my application that will help you to keep track on everything that you are doing on airdrops, applying easily and much, much more. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's get into it. Hey guys, well Vertex Protocol, this is a cross margin spot perpetual and money market. You can trade, earn and borrow like many of the other DX projects that we are seeing. But Vertex Protocol will solve a problem by creating a vertical integrated exchange, Vertex, with an order book and advanced risk engine to facilitate cross margin trading of spot and derivatives. And with a money market to facilitate leverage and yield products. User experience will be streamlined by offering integrating solutions such as on and off ramps, efficient branding, Web2 style sign up integrations with self custody, and multiple user interfaces to accommodate different traders with different needs. The testnet has been live for a week and an airdrop has never been officialized by the team, so there is no confirmation of an airdrop. This is 100% speculative. But the good thing, guys, for this video is that we only are going to test the testnet. We are not going to do any crudely task or anything social for applying to this. This is a 100% speculative, but we only need to test their product. So that is why this video is going to be really, really easy for you. You only need like 10 or, or 15 minutes in order to complete everything here. So let's go to the step by step on how to apply to the possible Vertex airdrop. The step one and step two is that you need to follow them on Twitter and Discord. If you go to the Twitter of Vertex, you can see that they have already 60k followers on Twitter. So we are not talking about a small project here. And even people from the Arbitum project is following Vertex. So I think that is a plus for this. And you have here the Discord channel to join them. After that, we need to do a couple of things. The step three is that the testnet is in Arbitrum Guardly. So it's a testnet of Arbitrum. So we need to add this network. So click this link and that will send you to here. This is chainlist.org where you can search for the networks here. So I search for Arbitrum Guardly. So click on connect wallet. This is going to pop up your MetaMask or the default wallet that you have and add Arbitrum Guardly to your wallet. And after clicking and accepting all that, click on switch network if you are in another network and go to Arbitrum Garlic. Now to step four, if you don't have yet Ethereum Garlic testnet, we need this network too, because you need to bridge Ethereum from Ethereum Garlic into Arbitrum Garlic. So again, in chain list, step four, go there to testnet and search for Garlic. And here you need to add this to MetaMask. This is the Garlic Ethereum testnet. So add this to MetaMask too. Now let's go to step five. This is how to get garlic Ethereum from the faucet. So click in this link for the garlic faucet. Once you are here, you need to log in with Alchemy. That can be easily done with your Google account. You put your wallet here, click I'm not a robot and click on send me Ethereum. And you are going to see this. This means that you are going to be receiving that Ethereum into your garlic from Ethereum network. So I click here and you can see I have 0.2 more that I just received from here. This is my garlic Ethereum wallet and I also have now my, my Arbitrum garlic. So now we go to step six. This is we need to bridge Ethereum from garlic into Arbitrum garlic. And first be sure to be connected to garlic Ethereum. So go here to the Arbitrum bridge. And because I am already with Ethereum garlic, you can see that automatically I'm in the Nitro testnet. So from here, I'm going to send 0.16 into the Arbitrum garlic. 
So I will click on move funds to Arbitrum Garlic. Confirm this on your MetaMask. And now you are going to need to wait this transaction. This takes some time guys, maybe 10 minutes. So wait for this until you get the funds into your Arbitrum Garlic wallet. Well guys, it took me like 15 minutes until this completed, but now you can see that in Arbitrum Garlic I have 0 0.16 Arbitrum Garlic tokens. So now that we have that, we can start interacting with Vertex protocol. So now go to this link, connect your wallet here. And here in the testnet faucet we need to mint all these tokens so we can use them in order to do transactions and test the application. So I will start minting wrap BTC. Click on mint tokens, confirm here you are going to pay gas fees with the tokens that you bridge. And now you can see that in the wallet I have wrapped Bitcoin 10 units. I will do the same with wrapped Ethereum, mint tokens, confirm. You also can see the transactions here on the wallet activity. I also have now 10 units of wrapped Ethereum, now USDC and now 95 USDC on the wallet for the faucet. After we got that, we go to the account, view portfolio, and I will click here on deposit. To click deposit, I will deposit the max amount of USDC, click on approve, confirm, and now in deposit, and confirm. So doing that, you can see that in the account value now, you have 95, this is the USDC, now we need to deposit the other three tokens that we get, the wrap Bitcoin and wrap Ethereum. And now step eight, this is interact with the app. So now we go to spot and we press deposit and deposit tokens that you claim in the faucet. We already did that as part of uh, step seven. So now we need to perform some buy and sell in spot and switch between Bitcoin and Ethereum. You also can try the perpetuals and here again have fun throwing some long and short with a variety of leverage. So I will go here to the spot position, wrap Bitcoin against USDC. I will do some market buys. I will put like a 10% 10, 10 from that and I will click buy. I will do a limit order here. I will click a price here, an amount of wrap Bitcoin. I will put one unit. I will put a 10% and I will click on buy. And here in perpetuals, BTC perpetual, I will do some leverage cross one. I will do a long for this position. So click on long BTC, sign the transaction. And you can see your position here, your long position is already placed. You can click this button to close it whenever you want. I will do also a short position to a market position. So click in short, sign everything here. And I already ran it the, the short position too. And I will clo close this position at 75%. So trying to interact with everything that you can hear, closing a little bit of your positions. So I close it at 75% of my long. I will move to Ethereum now. I will set a limit perpetual order there, this price. And I will do a short and sign the transaction. You can see the open short position there and I will do also a short market position. After doing that and interacting on any way that you can with the app, then step nine is put your test feedback in the Discord channel. So here you can see that most of the people put some comment, the address that they have and a screenshot of maybe the history of transactions. So that is a good idea to put it here just in case that you use these wallets as a reward for an airdrop. So in your app, you go to your account, click on view profile, and you have account history here. So here you can take this screenshot, put your wallet and some comment, and you are going to be done with the last step. So guys, that is all for the interaction with Vertex protocol. They are nearing the finishing of this phase. So I would recommend you to try and test this as soon as you can. And remember to check my subscriptions. We have a Discord private channel where we cover many things about airdrops, airdrop distributions, and much more about everything that you need in this airdrop hunter path. And you can check also my application, checking these two videos on how my app works. It will serve you a lot to keep track on all your airdrops.
Remember, before we leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.